Hey folks, Jeff Bradakovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And today we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. We're taking a look at base maps in particular. And to start us off, we want to create a base map that we can use throughout the entire course. So this step is a exceptionally important step because you'll use this map throughout the entire course. So you want to do this right. Now, if you've already gone through the previous tutorials, you'll already have the information necessary for this tutorial. If you haven't, go back and look through the tutorials in the design site uh, slides, specifically taking a look at the design site uh, elements that we took a screen capture from Google Earth Pro, because that'll be the basis of how we're going to build out this base map. If you're using hand-drawn or if you're doing something else, uh, this won't be as useful, but this is specifically for the, the OSU permaculture template. So when you go onto the template itself, you'll see that there's a, a, a stock a legend on the right hand side and a base map and all the rest of that. Now, what I'm going to suggest you do for this assignment is you copy this slide. And the way to do that is you click on the slide, do command C and then command V, or you can right click and go duplicate side. I just did command C and command V. And as we get into the base map, there's a couple of things here I want to keep and there's a couple of things I want to lose. So I like the legend. I already have uh, this little title block that I'm going to bring in from something else. Although I took some of the scale bar, so I'm going to make sure I don't do that just by again, holding shift as I have everything highlighted and then just click on the things I didn't want. So again, how that works is if I highlighted all of this as I just did, I have a lot more than I need. So I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the elements. So you'll see that I've clicked, I've included this shape block, which is a placeholder for the base map. I'm clicking it as I'm holding shift. I don't want the scale bars. So I'm going to click off those uh, and I can click off each of these little elements. Instead of doing that, I'm just going to go back and just highlight exactly what I need. Great. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete the bottom because I know that I need to add another slide and take off all the highlighting. Uh, I know I don't need that. I'll take out, take out that. Don't need this either. Take out that. And then I'm going to go back to the design site and I'm going to take this because I really liked how this turned out. And so I'm just going to highlight all of this by again, just making a highlighted section with my mouse. Hit Command C. Or you could right click, you could right click this and go copy. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go Command V. And there we have it. Now we've gone over the scale bar uh, and I know I've got the scale bar someplace else. So what I think I'll do is I'll actually just get rid of this because I'll use the inherent scale bar as is. And I know I need to add more items as and where I need. Great. So this starts us off by getting the base map we need our, pardon me, getting us the Google slide, Google Earth Pro uh, screenshot into our base map. And basically what I want to do is make sure that this is as big as possible. So I have as much space to play here. And this is pretty good. Uh, this is pretty good. It could be a little bit bigger. I could draw, drag it down just a little bit more and really take up a bit more of that space. But I like where this is. And I'm going to leave some space on the left hand side as well. So I can put more information if necessary. And now we're ready to go on to the next tutorial. 